Over the next year, the CTA will explore whether the software will make a difference in fighting crime. And the tech is actually already in use in other parts of the city. I think what we've seen not only with CTA but other local municipalities is that more and more people are relying on technology to help fill the gaps where personnel cannot. And I think that this is just a natural extension of that. An added layer of surveillance is coming to CTA platforms near you. The gun detection software Zero Eyes was founded in 2018 by a team of Navy SEALs. The CTA has awarded the company a year-long $200,000 contract. The CTA has the ability to make these decisions on its own, and I think in this case, I'm very glad that it did. Alderman Ray Lopez and Alderman David Moore say keeping riders safe is what this is all about. The CTA is the microcosm of the entire city of Chicago. Just for people to be comfortable in, in riding and not being in a closed space um, where there's probability for crime could definitely help deter crime and also get criminals off the street. Here's video provided by the CTA showing how the tech works. It uses existing surveillance cameras to detect brandished firearms. An image will automatically be sent to the company's operations center, staffed by military and law enforcement vets for human verification. If confirmed, police will be dispatched in real time. Technology works. Everybody knows that we are short officers. What you do to replace that until you get up to scale is to use technology. The tech CTA officials say is already being used at Navy Pier, adding that facial recognition is not part of the software. Still, Ed Yanka from the ACLU of Illinois isn't sold. Where was the public discussion for this? Where was the discussion about spending $200,000 on a software system uh, for a public transit system where people are troubled about whether the buses run on time. He adds that Chicago is already one of the most surveyed cities in the nation and feels it's getting out of hand. For 20 plus years in this city, we've been promised that if we just add one more camera, one more piece of software, one more kind of technology, we're all gonna be safe. It never proves to be true. As for shot spotter, city officials say it will be lights out by the end of next month. Reporting in the loop, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.